there and welcome back to another video on my channel how are we doing today today i'm going to be showing you what is in my handbag well it's actually a rucksack come backpack but yeah i'll show you what's in my bag let's go there are plenty of good reasons why i have a rucksack it's bigger it's well yeah it's bigger and that's a big huge advantage as opposed to a handbag but the main reason is because of this little guy this is Shep, you will have seen him in all of my baking videos and hopefully a lot of my videos as I try and include him in the background somewhere. I have trouble with anxiety and this little guy I have had since the age of four and he is the, one of the only reasons that I'm able to stay calm a lot of the time because I know he's with me. He's also my most valued possession other than my dog and my parents obviously and I just need to know he's with me so I needed a bag big enough to be able to carry him around. So other than him, should we see what else is in there? So this is everything else that is in my handbag. I will put them away and that's how I will go through it with you. To start with, I have pads, sanitary towels. I obviously have a period once a month, same as most girls do. And it's better to be safe than sorry and have some on you because you never know where you're gonna end up and you never know where you're gonna be when you need them. So it's just easier to have them. I keep them locked in, locked, I keep them zipped up in a zip up pocket in case anyone would go in my bag and feel uncomfortable by finding them so it's just easier to keep hold of them. That is at the very back of my bag, now moving into the centre of my bag, I keep my phone, my oyster card, some tissue, some tissues, <laughs> and my purse. Gotta get that now. Whenever I actually leave a restaurant or a shop or wherever I'm going out, I always make sure that I've got Shep, my phone and my purse because everything else I can live without or I can buy again. So they're the main things that I check. Now moving on to a inner second pocket, I keep a pen, some glasses cleaner, obviously wearing glasses they get dirty, and some hair ties. This was mainly when I had long hair down to about here, but I just keep hold of them anyway because you never know when you're going to need them or who could need them. Along with that pocket there's also a secret zip pocket there and that's where I keep my house keys. And then moving on to the very very front pocket is where I keep all my medicines and some beauty items i.e. hand sanitizer and a small bottle of perfume along with some lip balm which I could actually do with right now if I'm completely honest with you. A pillbox which has some of my uncle's medicine in it in case we go out and he needs some of it at that precise moment. And I know that this may look excessive but these are the medicines that I use regularly because unfortunately for some obscure reason I just keep getting ill really really regularly. I don't understand why but to run through them with you I have some cystitis medicine, some cold and flu drink form, some Bongella as I've been having some really bad trouble in the past with my wisdom teeth. Some cold and flu tablets because sometimes I find it easier to do that and it's e I'm not in a place where I can get a drink and things. Some paracetamol for when my chest gets really bad. Some ibuprofen from when I have a splitting headache. I can also use this for I ibuprofen. I can also use this for my chest pain. Some gaviscon for if I get heartburn. Some deflating for if I get trapped air, which unfortunately causes my chest to hurt quite a lot some soothers for a sore throat which I'm suffering quite a lot at the moment actually now these aren't medicine they're gingins and they're actually sweets but they're great for if you have nausea or you feel sick quite a lot they are gingins as I've said but they're actually made of ginger they're ginger hard boiled sweets and they're very very strong and usually to get rid of sickness I only have to have one of these and unless I'm really really unwell I only have to have two but these are amazing if you do suffer from nausea or anything like that these are a great thing to go by plus they're not medicinal i just use them to help with that so it's not technically medicine which is a huge benefit so that is everything that is in my handbag well rucksack come backpack come shep holder but this is the bag i got it from desigual i actually when i say desigual i actually got it on the way back from my holiday last year which was the last bit of my birthday last year and I just loved it the moment I saw it. Now, contrary to my style videos, I actually can't stand flower designs, but this stood out. I knew that if I walked past, walked past, if I lost it or anything, I could just walk past and know it's my bag because not many people would have it. The other thing is that I feel that I've lost my train of thought. 
So that is everything that is in my bag as I've already said but the things that are probably missing that other people would use especially women is makeup. I've never felt I needed makeup nor do I plan on ever feeling I need makeup. It's just something that I never got interested in as a teenager and I've never ever worn it unless it's concealer at high school to cover up spots or anything but I never went the full hog with it. I never wore lipstick. I never wore mascara. I just it just didn't interest me and I still don't understand it to this day and my closest cousin is a makeup artist and I still don't understand it but that is probably something that's missing. The other thing that is probably missing is a hairbrush. I don't have one in there and I should probably get one in there because it would be a very good idea to because I have hair that needs brushing. The final things well, final things, final thing that is probably missing is a notepad. I do the majority of my notes on my phone as most people would, but to actually have it down as a hard copy is not a bad thing whatsoever. So they're the three things. Well, the notepad I would definitely add, the hairbrush I would definitely add, the makeup, no. And that is it. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Leave in the comments anything you'd like to see me do on this channel, be it trying things, tags or challenges. I'm up for anything. Leave in the comments anything you think I should be putting in my handbag that I currently am not as I'm really excited to see what you guys think and carry in your handbags because I only have myself and my mum and my grandmother to go by. And finally, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more and I will see you next time. Bye!